How are you doing everybody? It's been a very, very sunny day today. They did predict temperatures 20, 21, 22. However, there has been quite a strong wind blowing. But, as you'd expect on, on a venue like this, it hasn't affected all, um, all, all of the sections. You know, where I've been today, uh, we've pretty much had the wind off our backs. And uh, that's, you know, that's made it quite warm. However, further down the match length, going down B section and A section that a lot of you are already familiar with because you've been following the vlogs this week, down there the wind was hitting it more so it's felt a little bit cooler down there but it's um it, it's been clear blue skies for the for the last few hours and if local knowledge and everything and the people that know the venue um know exactly what they're talking about then they would suggest that that isn't exactly ideal for catching fish on this venue you know it's not exactly ideal conditions it's been a very interesting day if you're just joining us for the first time there are several vlogs prior to this video We've been uploading at least one every single day throughout the last five days. So if you want to catch up on where we are, what we're doing, how we're doing it, and how we've been progressing, then obviously right here on this Fishing Life channel, you can go back on, on, on the videos and just have a bit of a catch up. So today is Thursday. This is the fourth, or it has been the fourth training day or the fourth practice day. And Lots of you have been enjoying the behind the scenes kind of stuff. So just a quick recap on what's happened today, just to let you know about the fishing and stuff. We, the England team have been, or the Preston Innovations England feeder team have actually been in box seven. And that's been a much better box. We haven't had any great boxes. Yesterday was a, the toughest box that we've fished in yet. Day one was very, very tough. And day two, uh, there were some fish there, but there were small fish and we didn't catch any bonus fish either. So it's really been a test. We haven't really been situated on loads of fish and that can obviously hinder you. You know, sometimes you might think that that's gonna help you because if you draw in a tough section, you've practiced on the tough section and you probably know how to catch a few fish. However, when you're trying to spot feeding patterns, you're trying to uh, find out ground baits that are working, you're trying to find out lines that are working and, and, and looking for some sort of um, of a pattern basically then it's very very difficult to do that when you're not getting many bites you know so that's part of the problem that you're going to have when this happens and it has happened to other teams as well you know it's not only the England team so basically they've caught quite a few fish today they haven't it's been an interesting session in the sense that you know there have been some weights up to seven kilos where some of those nets have been lots of small fish however some of the anglers uh, have caught fewer fish but they've had a better stamp now only the lads themselves are going to know really what's caused that you know only until we have a you know when we have a meeting are we actually going to know what they've done have they changed the mix have they changed the way they feed in and all that sort of stuff you know because those things may be the things that have triggered the better fish or oh, the smaller fish but that's something we're going to discuss a little bit later so a lot of um the venue has fished quite hard however there have been some bream feeding as well going around to um the end of c section certainly the end of c section d section um, <clears throat> there have been some bream caught. The Hungarians have been based there today and they've caught quite a few bream. So there have been some bream feeding, but only in certain areas. When you're not on the bream, it's about the roach, it's about the little perch, uh, sometimes the bonus perch, and it's about the asp, which are about that big. It is a team event, so with team events, you've obviously got to think about, you know, you're not all going to be sat on fish. So that's why sometimes targeting small fish can help. As regards the behind the scenes kind of stuff that a lot of you are interested in, well, that's what these vlogs are all about. You know, they're not just about the fishing. The competition weekend hasn't even started yet. You know, the competition weekend is Saturday and Sunday. So we've just got tomorrow, which is Friday, to practice. That's one final practice day. We have got a box allocated for us to practice tomorrow. Then Saturday and Sunday are the competition days. So today, this is Thursday, we were up at five o'clock this morning. We were sorting the bait out in the yard uh, by six o'clock. Sorting the bait out, Richard Wilson, Graham West, um, and Eddie Bryden were sorting the bait out. The lads were obviously just having some breakfast and stuff, sorting out any last minute bits of kit. And then at just after seven o'clock, we headed down to the venue where we were, or oh, the anglers are allowed to go into their box at eight o'clock. They have then got from eight o'clock until 10 o'clock to set up, or 10 to 10 to set up. Then at 10 to 10, they get a pre-baiting period of 10 minutes and that then the all in is eight o'clock and then sorry the all in is 10 o'clock and then they fish 10 until three and that is the they are the match times so what we've basically done is we've done that today all um four of the bank runners including myself have been out on the bank watching some other teams we've seen a few things that have happened i'm just going to get out of this van because it's red hot and i'm currently waiting for the food place to open and i'll explain why that is in a moment um 
So we've been out watching different sections, just getting a feel for how the other sections are actually fishing and um, obviously seeing how other nations are fishing as well. The England lads have done their thing, so we knocked off at three o'clock. We quickly and hastily weighed everybody in, so we know exactly what the lads have caught. We know the number of fish that they've caught as well, so that will help. And then um, I'm here now just to book some food or a table for some food at half past four. So the lads are packing away now. The venue is about a mile that way. So by the time they've packed in, the church is there. I'll tell you it's exactly half past three. By the time they've packed away, we're gonna head over here and eat in here at half past four. And then we've got about 45 minutes to have something to eat. And then we've got to go back to the venue where at half past five, we need to be for the parade. The parade is due to start at six o'clock. And that's really what's classed as the opening ceremony. That's the opening ceremony where all the nations uh, parade through the street usually or they parade with their with their flags and they're all their team and it's just kind of an official welcome to the competition that always takes place on a thursday so we don't know what time that'll be finished that could be eight o'clock could be nine o'clock and once that's done we'll then be heading back to the digs then to where the lads will obviously make any final preparations to their kit um, and the bait lads the lads looking after bait will obviously make any further tweaks to the bait ready for tomorrow which is the final day of training so this is just kind of a typical day in this sort of an, sort of an event you don't really get much time to yourself but you know it's a team effort everybody's got a job to do and that's what we're all doing whilst i'm currently here this place opens in about three minutes in fact the door is actually open so it's open now so i'm just about to go in there book the table whilst i'm here the lads are packing away dean is down on the bank and then over that direction that is where the bait lads have gone back to the digs to start preparing the bait and then we're all going to meet back here at half past four and then all go on to the parade that's what this kind of a competition is all about so it's been an interesting day it's been probably bite wise and fish wise it's been our best day up to now but that's because you know well we like to think it's because we know a little bit more about the venue but we have been in a better area better box and on paper the box we're going to tomorrow is much more difficult however I've just heard a little bit of a whisper from the French manager that that box has actually picked up. It has fished a little bit better today. So we are obviously hoping that is the case so that we can go there tomorrow and hopefully try and spot one or two patterns and just get a little bit more confidence in our approach and everything. So this has just been a bit of a flying visit, a little bit of a real behind the scenes um, insight into um, what it's like when we're competition fishing. This is the chef, we recognise him because we've been here before, he's just turned up. So I'm one of those annoying people that sits outside the takeaway waiting for it to open, aren't I? Um, but I'm giving him advance warning that there's a few people coming in an hour to help him out. So thanks for all the great messages. Um, it's been great to see so many people following us through this event. And if you do want to see more of these vlogs, please hit the thumbs up and hit subscribe. If you want to see more of our uh, adventures, not only in this competition, but obviously when we're back in England, all that sort of thing as well. So thanks for all the great for all the great messages everybody really appreciate it and we will definitely be logging in with you tomorrow just to give you an update right here on this fishing life channel to let you know how we get on on the final day of training